if anything, now I at least know what is wrong and I'm not going to spend, you know, I'm not going to wake up one day and have my bone just gone there and oh my god what's wrong and then see you know and have just an even worse problem than I already have right now yeah. so at least I can catch it. So tell me where you're from. Okay um, I'm from Temple Texas you know I thought that DTR would be a good fit for me because I've seen so many doctors and so many dentists and so many um, chiropractors, physical therapists, they even went to a rheumatologist and none of them helped me they all said it was either muscle or you know, yeah. it was all muscle related. None of them ever did imaging or anything like that. And nobody would take me seriously and speak to me competently. They always brushed off, oh, you know, this muscle is hurting. Oh, no, well, that doesn't, you know, affect your team day. And especially in your videos, I saw people that it was like you were speaking my language. I could understand everything you were talking about. and. Whereas the other doctors I would talk about and they had no idea what I was talking about. So you walked into some of those doctors' offices knowing more than they did. Exactly. So did you see orthodontists? I had gone to an orthodontist when I was 12 and I had a first set of braces on the front four teeth and then a full set. And upon the very last, you know, phases of the braces were rubber bands which to pull my jaw forward. And they'd already extracted, you know, my premolars, and they're pulling the jaw forward. And I explained to him, "Hey, my jaw's starting to pop." And his response was, "Well, we'll just take the braces off." And how long had you been in braces when that happened? I had been in braces for four years. Four solid years. Four years, two and a, uh, one and a half with the first four, and then two and a half with the full set. So today we imaged you, <laughs> and today we saw that you had breakdown in your jaw bones, mm -hmm. especially on your left side. Mm -hmm. Um, I mean, some serious stuff, like to where the bone's kind of collapsing on itself. Right. And there's something called avascular necrosis. This might be that. Did anyone ever mention to you the possibility that something could be wrong from the back of your jaw joint causing your, your teeth that are open up front? Nobody had addressed that. Everybody explained, oh, no, it, you know, an interior open bite. Like, oh, that has nothing to do with the, the back of your jaw. That has nothing to do with any of your muscles or any of the joints, mm -hmm. nothing to do with that. So I went to a couple physicians that had no idea what to do with me. They all uh, said it was myofascial uh, pain syndrome, huh? or they told me it was um, muscle spasms, and or they would just say it's TMJ and we don't know how to help you. Wait, can you tell us what your symptoms are? Like what's been going on? Um, well, mostly I have a lot of pain um, with it's not most t teeth sensitivity. I have teeth sensitivity whenever I drink and whenever I chew, you know, it, my jaw gets tired, but it's mostly like referred pain all the way around my neck and the surrounding mastic uh, mastication muscles and all those muscles. And it, it feels like it started right in the top, a, a year went by, and then it went down to the shoulder and then a year went by and then it went to this side it just it seems like it just gets worse throughout the body as it goes on didn't you tell me you had like a burning sensation yes um i sometimes i would get burning sensations especially in in my um in like the sternocleidal region uh -huh. right at the jo at the joint and uh it would it was just it would go off and on but it was pretty debilitating. To How's me. your neck and your shoulders? Are they stiff? Or oh, they they're always stiff. I mean, I can't look over my shoulders. I can't really. It's always crepitus, crepitus all throughout that. Like somebody told me, oh, you have a vitamin D deficiency, so that must be the problem. Not. No you, diagnosis. No. So nobody that you saw gave you any kind of like real definitive. definitive. Mm -mm. No. Nothing even a differential. Not even. Oh, let's try this. Let's mm -hmm. try that. No. It's, it was all, let's try splint, or you have myofascial pain syndrome and we have no idea what to do with you. You can go to pain management. Right. Well, mm -hmm. that's that person needs DTR. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, at Assuming least... Assuming their joint's clear, see, you have to check the joints. Exactly. If anything, now I at least know what is wrong and yeah. I'm not going to spend, you know, I'm not going to wake up one day and have my bone just gone there and oh my god what's wrong and then see you know and have just an even worse problem than I already have right now yeah. so at least I can catch it. If you 
feel like trust your intuition if you feel that doctor hasn't done enough you're probably right he hasn't done enough and you need to seek somebody out who knows more and who's willing to listen and treat you with competence and um and believe what you're saying and know and wants to try different things just to try a barrage an array of things you know other than rather than just saying oh i went to eight years of med school i went i, I know what i'm talking about and that's it so nobody bothered really measuring you like measurement of any real kind bite papers models that's mm -hmm. the kind of stuff they hit you with they take a normal x-ray mm -hmm. no one ever put numbers to your muscle to your bite to your cartilage to your bone nope right none of that stuff none of it that we did none that's totally new to you yeah that's uh, everything that you've done today i've never had i mean even the teeth cleaning just touching on my gums i've never had yeah. a dentist do that and tell me hey you have you know your gums are receding right here and that's not supposed to happen well, we part of it and we do a full dental exam anytime we look at the tm exactly Jays, yeah and, so. and it just floored me how how this is so thorough and it's you know, even if you, you can't go through the DTR, it's, it's it's like, this is so thorough, you get at least answers to what you're, you get closer to your answer of That's what you That's the want. key. See, we can't help everybody with DTR. Of course. There's, it's not a cure for TMJ. There's no such thing. Right. You know, for some people it kind of is, because it's, TMJ is just anatomy. Basically the muscles, when the muscles go crazy and it's because of the bite only, mm -hmm. DTR is slam dunk, almost always. Right. But when there's other hidden layers, like the joint, the orthopedic stuff, mm -hmm. neck stuff, sympathetic nervous system stuff like mm -hmm. you were talking about the burning and all these weird you know that's called crips crps type one right a lot of tmj patients quote unquote tmj mm -hmm. have crips and don't even know it. Mm -hmm. ringing in their ears um exactly do you have that yes i have mm -hmm. a lot of ringing in the ears um a lot of like sometimes the hearing will go out or be muffled on one side and especially stretching you know i'll get uh, transient blindness was stretching the both one sides side. or one side both sides it doesn't matter which side That's and crazy. because yeah. of that my physical therapist told me we can't we're not going to touch you because we don't know if we're going to mess you up neurologically they didn't even bother trying to figure out why that was happening no nice okay. nobody did so you're going to go down and see um, one of the oral surgeons that we recommended right absolutely as, as soon as possible because i don't want this to get worse